Hey everybody, it's Brandon, The Weekend Cruiser, where I go on a weekend cruise just about every weekend. And as a lot of you know, I stay with Royal Caribbean, so that means that I get intimately familiar with a lot of their systems and applications, including the Royal app. And so I wanted to share with you what I call some of the secrets of the Royal app. Now, let's get this one thing straight. Royal Caribbean is not known for their technology or anything software related. A lot of that items that they use is going to be very dated and this app is not as intuitive as it probably needs to be but there's still some great features in there and i want to make sure that you know how to access all those now you may be used to seeing a cruise compass and i don't have one in my room to show you because they don't send those out automatically anymore if you are not somebody who wants to use the app you can still go to guest services and probably even request from your stateroom attendant to get the paper cruise compass with all the activities and all your information in it but they really want you to stop using paper and migrate over to the phone app so let's make sure that you know how to make the best use of everything on the phone now the first tip that i will give you is when you are coming into the terminal to check in for your cruise make sure that you're using the boarding button down at the bottom so if you just click on boarding this is going to bring you directly to your boarding pass with your room assignment number on it and the barcode that people can scan when you are checking in and then seeing your muster drill so this one is really easy because oftentimes especially in terminal a in miami the internet or the cell phone service is not very good in port miami and so if you try to go another way to find that you might not be able to get there if you want to take a quick screen print of this on my phone it's a swipe up and click on the screen print it might be good just to have this loaded into your pictures just in case the next one i'll talk about is if you click over here on the left you see at the top you've got your three main toggle buttons you see a ship a calendar and a person if i click on the ship there this is going to give me a lot of great information about things around the ship so this is a great place to start at if you want to see where things are at like the deck plans like where is the gym per se you can come here and kind of scroll around and find it you can change the deck plans so if i wanted to find the gym i would go to 11 and i can see that vitality is up there i don't see a search feature in this actual section but it does show you floor by floor, floor what all is here the next I'll say is if you're looking for something to do, the main thing that I use the app for is when are the shows? When is Freedom Ice or Once Upon a Time going on? I'll click on the Entertain option down at the bottom and it'll give you venue. So you can start with Studio B if you're interested in ice skating, for instance. But more than likely, I'm going to come over here to Shows and Movie and I'm going to select one of these actual shows. Now, this is a really great place to consolidate all of that information if i want to attend this and i very well might i'm gonna click add that to my calendar and i'll come back to that in a little bit so the other thing if you want to look for music and dance you can also find where's the nightlife happening where's the entertainment going on and you can select from your options there the other thing that i use this section for is the services in the bottom right hand side so oftentimes in the cruise planner, I used to go to say, hey, when is the loyalty ambassador at their desk? Or when is the diamond lounge open? This is going to be the place that I can come in and select what, what area I'm looking for. And it's going to tell me that the medical facility is open today from 8 to 11 a.m. Hopefully we'll not be needing that. And hopefully you won't either. But it's nice to know that you can find out some information about that. The next is if I come back over to the calendar, I, this is one that I think is super hidden, but a lot of people like to see it, is if you look down here at the bottom, there is a hints and tips section in blue directly under daily planner and my calendar. So if I click on that, that's going to give me a lot of great information that was traditionally on the front page of the cruise compass. So it's going to talk about what time you can go on to shore, what you can take, what you cannot take. Um, if you need to bring any identification with you, some things about Nassau and their vaccination requirements, wellness requirements. And if you keep scrolling all the way to the bottom, you can actually see what you want to wear tonight. So if you're curious if it is a formal night, if it is a dress your best night, it's going to say right here that it is 
um, what your dress or attire should be. And you can see I am on a weekend cruise. So it says goodbye to the formal nights. We are doing uh, wear your best, something that I'm very glad that they made the change to because I enjoy a more casual style of cruising. The next thing I'll say is if you're looking up at here, this one, it took me probably months to find out, but oftentimes, you know, I want to know where the ship's going. You all have heard in one of my videos that <clears throat> I traditionally have no idea where this ship is going. So if I click on the calendar, once again at the top, which you're already in there, why would you naturally click on it? It's going to show you where the ship is going and when it is going. So on this particular sailing, we're going to do Nassau today, which is where I'm recording from now. And then we're going to do Coco Cay tomorrow. Personally, I like the exact opposite of this with doing Coco Cay on Saturday and Nassau on Sunday, but I'm always glad to be on the ship either way. From there, what I'll say is you've got the chat feature up top. So you may see the little three dots and the bubble. It's going to look like, you know, an ask a question feature, which is honestly what I thought it was the first time. I was like, huh, I can text with guest services. That'd be really awesome. A lot of hotel chains are doing that these days, but that is not the case. So this is the messaging app that Royal Caribbean rolled out, I think last year, post COVID, that this came out. So if you're wondering about how you can stay connected with people on the ship without buying the internet package, this is the place that you're going to do that. So I'm gonna click on invite to chat there and it's gonna give me all the details about the chat feature here on Royal Caribbean ships. You do see that it is a $1.99 fee per day and you do buy it for the entire voyage. And this is gonna be where you can chat with more guests on this app. You don't need to pay for the expensive Wi-Fi package. Um, but the key to this is all participants must purchase this actual plan here. So you can't chat with somebody who hasn't also paid the $1.99. I have uh, the Wi-Fi package and I can't, I still cannot chat. It's an additional fee on top of that. Another place that a lot of people will go to see what activities are on the ship is down in the daily planner at the very bottom. It took me a second to figure out what I was going to say. It's not one of the buttons, it's the daily planner. So if I pull up on that little section there, it's going to give me everything that is happening on the ship and when. This is a great place to come when you are looking for something to do now versus something to do in the future because it's going to start automatically at the time it is. It's 1043 now, so it starts me at the 11 a.m. items and it's going to cover excursions. It's going to cover entertainment, activities, jewelry sales, spa sales. It's going to have everything in here. So it's a lot of information. The good thing is, is they do have a filter section up in the top. So if you click on filter and say, I'm looking for a specific entertainment activity. Again, I want to see when the singers and dancers are going. I can filter that to entertain. And then I can much more easily come down here and find, you know, that there is freedomice.com happening at 9.30 PM. Again, I can click on that and you see I've already added it to my schedule. So we will not be able to add it once again. If I go up to the top and now click on my calendar, since I have added that, I'll scroll down. You can see that I do have restaurant reservations at Chops tonight. So we're celebrating a friend's birthday of mine. Happy birthday, Don. And then on uh, 7 p.m. is where that reservation for freedomice.com went to. So that is where it's going to be. And I enjoy making the reservation, number one. I feel like it tells Royal that, hey, this is a quality activity that I'm going to and you should keep doing this. The second thing is it's going to send me a reminder about 30 minutes prior to this event to make sure that I'm not distracted and having fun at another venue and completely forget that I really wanted to go see Freedom Ice. The next piece of this is you can select a different calendar. So oftentimes when I come on cruises, you've heard me say this, I love daydreaming about future cruises, planning those, seeing when I'm going on them. If you want to change the app and go see what's available for another sailing that you have, You'll simply click on the person icon at the top. You're going to click on select a different sailing. A list of sailings will pop up for you. As you see, I have a lot of three night cruises here and you can choose one of these. Be careful though, if you do choose one of these to explore maybe an excursion or where it's going at a certain time, make sure that you change it back to the sailing that you are on. So you're going to need to follow the same process after you select that to come back and select your current sailing. I have made the mistake where I am on a different sailing trying to see what the schedule is and clearly it's not going to line up because 
that sailing is in a month time. All right, everybody, I hope that those are some helpful tips on how to use the app with Royal Caribbean. As you can see, it's not the most intuitive in the world, but if you know some of the secrets to using the Royal Caribbean app, you're going to have much more success and ease of navigating that tool. All right, everybody, this is Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser, hoping to see you on a Weekend Cruise soon.